Welcome to Dark Dreamer. This time, we've got a tale that'll make you think twice before visiting an isolated town. All right, picture this. It's the middle of summer, and our main guy, Luke Miller, is on a road trip. Luke's a laid-back dude in his early 30s, taking some time off from his hectic job in the city. He's got his car loaded with snacks, a killer playlist, and a map of places he's always wanted to visit. One day, he's driving through the countryside when he stumbles upon a tiny, isolated town called Pine Hollow. It's one of those places that looks like it's stuck in the past. Charming little houses, a general store, and not much else. Luke's curious, so he decides to pull over and check it out. He parks his car and walks down the main street, taking in the sights. The town is quiet, almost too quiet. There's no one around, which is odd for midday. He shrugs it off, thinking maybe everyone's inside escaping the summer heat. Now, let me tell you, Pine Hollow has this weird vibe. You know, the kind that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Luke's walking around, feeling like he's in a ghost town, when he finally spots someone. It's an old man sitting on a porch, rocking back and forth. Hey there, Luke says, trying to sound friendly. Nice town you've got here. I'm just passing through. Any good places to eat around? The old man looks up, his eyes narrow and suspicious. You won't find much here, son. We don't get many visitors. Luke laughs nervously. Yeah, I noticed. Well, thanks anyway. He keeps walking, feeling more unsettled by the minute. He passes by a diner and decides to go in. The place is empty, except for a waitress behind the counter who's wiping down tables. She looks up as he enters, giving him a forced smile. Welcome to Pine Hollow Diner, she says. What can I get you? Luke orders a coffee and a sandwich, trying to make small talk. So it's pretty quiet around here. Where is everyone? The waitress shrugs. People keep to themselves. Not much to do in a town like this. As he eats, Luke can't shake the feeling that he's being watched. He glances around, but there's no one there. It's just him and the waitress. He finishes his meal quickly and leaves a generous tip to the eager to get back on the road. He decides to take a walk around the outskirts of town before leaving. There's a dense forest surrounding Pine Hollow, and the trees are so thick they almost block out the sun. As he's walking, he hears a rustling sound behind him. He turns, but there's nothing there. All right, folks, this is where things start to get real creepy. Luke's feeling like he's in one of those horror movies where the guy wanders into the woods and never comes back. But he's not ready to leave just yet. Curiosity killed the cat, right? He continues walking, and that's when he sees it, a small, rundown house hidden among the trees. It looks abandoned, but there's a light on inside. Luke's heart starts to race. Should he check it out? His gut tells him to turn around, but his feet keep moving forward. He approaches the house and knocks on the door. No answer. He knocks again, harder this time. Still nothing. He tries the doorknob, and to his surprise, it opens. He steps inside, the floorboards creaking under his weight. The house is dark and musty, filled with old furniture covered in dust. Luke calls out, Hello? Anyone home? No response. He moves further inside, and that's when he hears it, a faint whisper. It's so soft, he almost thinks he's imagining it. But then he hears it again, clearer this time. Help me. All right, I know what you're thinking. Get the hell out of there, right? But Luke, being the stubborn guy he is, decides to investigate. He follows the sound to a back room. The door is slightly ajar, and he pushes it open. Inside, he finds a young woman, tied to a chair, looking terrified. Please help me, she whispers, tears streaming down her face. Luke's heart is pounding. What happened? Who did this to you? There's no time, she says urgently. You have to get me out of here before they come back. Luke quickly unties her and helps her to her feet. Come on, let's get out of here. They make their way out of the house, moving as fast as they can without making too much noise. As they reach the edge of the forest, Luke hears footsteps behind them. He turns and sees a group of people emerging from the trees, their faces hidden in the shadows. Run! The woman shouts, and they take off, sprinting through the woods. Luke's lungs are burning, and his legs feel like they're going to give out, but he doesn't stop. He can hear the footsteps getting closer, 
the sound of branches snapping underfoot. They burst out of the forest and onto the main road. Luke's car is just ahead, and they scramble inside. He starts the engine and floors it, the tires screeching as they speed away from Pine Hollow. As they drive, Luke glances over at the woman. Who are those people? What's going on? She takes a deep breath, trying to calm down. They're the town's secret. They take anyone who wanders in and do things. I don't know why. I was just passing through like you. Luke shivers, realizing how close he came to becoming their next victim. He keeps driving until they're miles away from Pine Hollow. Finally, he pulls over to the side of the road, both of them catching their breath. Thank you, the woman says, her voice trembling. You saved my life. Luke nods, still in shock. We need to get to the nearest town and call for help. They drive to the next town over and find a gas station with a payphone. Luke calls the authorities, but when they return to Pine Hollow with the police, the town is deserted. No sign of the people who chased them, no trace of the woman's captivity. It's like the town was never there. Luke never forgets that day. He goes back to his life, but he can't shake the feeling that Pine Hollow is still out there, waiting for its next victim. So next time you're on a road trip and stumble upon an isolated town, think twice before sticking around. You never know what secrets might be lurking in the shadows. If you've got a story of your own, something that chills you to the bone, just drop us a comment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.